are on the last morning of our Barb and Gabby camp out September 2016 at Bumping Lake. I would say it's been a very amazing week with everybody mm -hmm. and we're going to have our little wrap up meeting. So first we're going to go around and everybody's going to share any experiences they had since our meeting yesterday and uh, then we got a few other things we're going to talk about. So let's start with you Claire. Well, um, not much last night other than around the campfire. We all were hearing, we had some activity and um, we heard some calls and it was very interesting. I think everybody has a different um, things to say about that. And then went to bed, didn't really hear a whole lot, but I did wake up to hearing like a humming, like a, it was almost like a man-made noise. But everybody was asleep. It was probably three, four in the morning. And it was like a buzzing hum. And the next thing I know, I went back to sleep. But this okay. has been a wonderful time. It's been a wonderful trip meeting everybody. And, okay. Uh, yeah. So could, could you tell us what your favorite part of the week was? What, what, what are you going to take home, your, your favorite memory? Uh, just meeting everybody. Um, everybody was as nice as I thought they would be, if not better. And um, Thank you. Yeah, and people who, you know, you guys are all just very welcoming and and um, love to hear all the encounters and stories that you've had and um, experience and just the people and Gabby and all the puppies. Yeah. <laughs> all the puppies we had here. I think the puppies are worn out. Yes, they are. So just meeting everybody and, uh, and um, it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, Patrick? Oh, you know, I only made it here for the last two nights. Last night, you know, when the nature nature was calling and I was always away from the camp, we heard uh, just three classic Bigfoot howls behind us, that direction, I'm not sure what cardinal direction that is, that were answered by much higher-pitched uh, calls. And so they were just the classic howl that you, that you hear on, on the YouTubes and that sort of stuff. Everybody was over here and they were talking, so... I think only a couple of people have heard it. But yeah. Favorite part again is it's you know it's the networking, it's the getting to know the, the new people. Uh, one of the things I've discovered is that everybody has a little different experience with this subject, and it's always nice to sit down and actually chat with them and find out what their experiences have been, and just kind of collect those data points in the back of your head and, and uh, have a great camp out. Cool. Oh, and by the way. Thank you for the amazing fire pit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the firewood. Much appreciated. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, Kelly. Um, I also heard what he was talking about, the, the three lower uh, yells and then the higher pitched. And that was pretty cool last night. And then also with Tristan doing his his uh, owl calls, he was getting answered right back like, like six times in a row just mm -hmm. repeating exactly what he was doing and um yeah that was fun and I'll, what i loved about this was just meeting everybody because you know oh you're gonna go out and look for bigfoot with the crazy people you know it's just like you know you guys time. are yeah. like just like me <laughs> <laughs> so i guess i'm crazy <laughs> welcome to the club <laughs> thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> but yeah thank you so much guys and you guys have been wonderful and sharing all your stories with me so I've appreciated it. And also, it's just besides the Bigfoot stories, just your personal stories and your background. So that's always really interesting to me. So thank cool. you very much. You're very welcome. All right, Pat? Um, well, it's been a great week. Um, I don't know. I was going to say weekend, but it's been longer than that. The weather's been really nice at the end here and meeting new people. I was really happy to meet people. And the uh, big thing was finding that those trackways, the footprints the last couple days and Bob Gimlin escorting us on one of them <laughs> yeah. and telling us what he thought. And uh, we've casted seven footprints ranging in size from eight inches to up to 14. And Penny's taking two of them back with her on the plane. Good luck. Great <laughs> 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 well, James. Um, so that's about it. We've made right now. It's a we left, so, oh yeah, we did some gifting with the food. We put buckets out. Nothing's been touched on any of them, but. Uh, we did have some audios put out, and we haven't listened to them yet. So if we have anything to share, we will post it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Tristan? Uh, I heard the same howls that Patrick and Kelly heard the other night. And, uh, 
Uh, yeah, they're definitely the classic Bigfoot, and uh, and also like she mentioned, I was doing some owl calls, and I was good. I, I I personally think it was an owl that was responding back. It's still cool though. Yeah, it's still pretty <laughs> still cool. Huh? I was getting responses back for a while, and I was also doing my own howls and screams, but I wasn't really getting anything. At one point, I thought I heard a couple wood knocks, but I don't know if that was a car coming down the road. But it was kind of weird that uh, I got a couple. At least three wood knocks or some kind of knocking back at one point. So, um, and like my mother said, uh, we found some. There's a hell of a lot of footprints down at that lake. Uh, baby tracks, and like she said, a couple of adult tracks, 12 to 14 inches. And uh, it was really neat to, to follow Bob down there and and everything. Yeah, so that was quite the trip. And uh, and it was great meeting new people and great being back here with everybody and. Uh, it's been another great, you know, great time here at Bumpy Lake. You know, it's a, it's a definite hot spot. So yeah. Glad to be back. Cool. Yeah. All right, Nancy. Oh, it's just, uh, just becoming, feeling a little more familiar with everybody, and um, it's just been wonderful, very relaxing for me. And then, in terms of activity, you know, not, you know, I had, I didn't get to hear all the calls, but because I don't hear them inside my little RV, but the uh, footprints down on the lake was just. You know, seeing the little guys, you know, and knowing that they've been out there with the others, and it was just that was just really something special. And of course, the, the you know having a field trip with Bob, I mean, you can't top that. So, That's that about just, as good as it gets, really isn't something. it? The food was great. It just, it just, Yay, Sandy! Yes, yeah. thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Yay! Yeah, yeah. yeah. very, very. Good. Looking forward to the next one. So. Cool. I know May Barbie seems like an awful long time uh, away, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Barb, when they say Bob, they mean Bob Gimlin. Yes, we're referring to Bob Gimlin. Yeah. Bob Gimlin came out. Came out to show us how it's done. Hang out with the Barb and Gabby campout crew. Okay, Rob. Well, I too enjoyed being out at the lake, and the wife's going to kill me for the sunburn, I'm sure, because I didn't bring my hat, and I got three things of sunblock, didn't use it. But yeah, all those little footprints, you know, and then also nobody. You could see where one of them just got down on their knees and just started playing in the mud. You could see the fingers. And, and so that was just kind of fun to see that, hey, you know, even squatches like to have, their babies like to have fun playing in the mud just like any other kid. Um, and, well, I, it was fun wooting with uh, Tristan. That was kind of yeah. fun. Yeah, that was, had, uh, hadn't, hadn't done that very much. Yeah, and so I, did a good job, fun. though. It was great. I, I yeah. spread my wings a little bit on that one, so that was, that was awesome. Great. But the most, the funnest, well, the big foot, but still, seeing old friends. And uh, well, the ones I've met last last time, and then of course all the new ones, in Scotland and Alaska <laughs> and uh, Oregon and stuff. So yeah, it was really really fun meeting new people. Good group of people. They're all fun. Yeah, they're all fun. It was good. I had a great time. Cool, so, yeah. Courtney. Um, I didn't really hear anything last night other than when, oh, I didn't really hear anything last night other than when Tristan was doing his owl calls. It got really quiet. Um, something woke me up. Uh, I, was, I know you heard a scream. Yeah. There. Something woke me up at about, I'd say, five. Because um, they were, they woke up. Okay. And Max was sitting awake on the bed looking straight up at me like, <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you see him wait? <laughs> um, I think that's it last night, but. But I, you did for a scream back there while yep, Tristan was calling. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I just like uh, meeting all the new people. It's always fun. It's mm -hmm. always good with the people. Okay. Benny? I had a great time. Gotta say that first. Last night, um, went to bed really late. We'd gone down to the lake to do a little night vision. And uh, didn't hear anything, didn't see anything, but that was a learning lesson. I'll wait till the car goes by. We got to bed about 1.15, 1.30, and I woke up at 5. Don't know what woke me up. Maybe it was what woke them up. Yay. And I thought I wanted to go back to sleep, but I stayed awake because that's about the hour when they start calling their kids in. The Sasquatch kind of round the loose ends up that have been on patrol. And wait for that car to go by. <laughs> it's the weekend. Yeah. So oh, anyhow, there's, there's, a, there's a second truck. Yep. So at about 20 to 5, I'm laying there awake, been awake 35, 40 minutes. And it was just like 
professional baseball player, hit one right out of the park with a hickory. It was a crack, just right out of the park. Over here, I don't know what direction that is. And so I listened for another five minutes, and that's when I heard a male yell. And it wasn't a howl type yell, it was two or three syllables of yell, I don't know what it was. Waited maybe 10, 15 more minutes, and then a second one hit it out of the park, and it was in the same direction of the yell, but it was more of a clunk, not a crack. And that was my experience this morning. So I figured they were rounding everybody up. Okay. As for the highest point of this was trackways with Bob Gimlin. It, money can't buy that, that was just terrific. And being here with everybody, making new friends, my heart is your heart. Oh, okay, you ready to talk? Max, Max. What would you like to say, Max? Um, last night I heard at least two things. First time everyone went silent, I there was no mistake. I heard a great big thump, and while and while I was over there in that tent, I heard humming for at least two seconds. Okay, well that's pretty cool. And thank you for reporting, Max. <laughs> So, Max, what was your favorite thing about this week? Probably sleeping in the camper. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, are, are you ready to talk, Yvonne? Straighten up, chick. Fly. <laughs> Me, okay. Well, I'm I'm the one you love. Don't worry. You're Close off camera. We just got your voice. Okay. It's just... A great group of people with open hearts and minds. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We love you. We love you, girl. And I've got to say, I've got to say for Yvonne that I am so pleased if only one of us, and I've said it before, if only one of us in the group could have the personal encounters. I am so pleased it was you, dear. I really am. You came such a long way, and you have such an open heart. I was so happy for you that 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 you obviously connected with one of them, yes. and they obviously connected with you, and I'm so happy for you. What a wonderful experience to take home. Yeah. There's a, a bunch of really clever people here who are so given and loving, it's amazing. It's like leaving family. It is. So, But I think this Asquatch had my best interests at heart. They did show me a lot, but when I got scared and I knew it was irrational, they gave me time out and they give me baby steps. When you and asked for it. The next, anything I asked for, I said, you know, like, please, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> so the next camp out's not for a few, few months, so I'll go home and process this. Because you sort of think, no way, it's real. You know, like, no way. You know, like, it's just so unbelievable. But amazing people, and I want to take Sandy home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I did have to go to the toilet in the woods. I have slept in a tent. I've not had a shower. But the, the food was five star. And she's the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> amazing, just absolutely amazing. Okay, thank you. And, you know, you're always going to be welcome. We're going to be expecting you at least, at least one camp out every year, if not Don't all of them. Don't start saying nice things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don't okay. All right, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll save the, the nice stuff. We don't want to make you cry anymore. So I just want to thank everybody that, that came to our camp out, and it's, I'm getting a little choked up myself <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> oh, it's just been the best week. And spending time with each of you and in this beautiful place and these beautiful experiences we've had. It just, it all means the world to me. And, you know, honestly, I can't pinpoint one moment that was better than any of the rest. I just want to thank you all. And I guess this this wraps up our 2016 September Barb and Gabby Camp Out. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that that was pretty special. Yeah. You made me come over here and stand here, and you passed me by. Oh, okay, Sandy. Now I have a favorite part. Oh.
Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, my favorite part was being with Bob Gimlin and watching him track. That was huge. Yeah, that was cool. Just to watch him in his element. He was on task and it was a real privilege for us to that, share that with him. Um, he really taught us a lot, I thought, yeah. that day. So that was a huge highlight. And now, get the hell out of here. I don't want to see you until next year. Okay. <laughs> 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 I love you all. I really do. <laughs> and you don't want me because at home I have cheese and crackers. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.